Hi, I'm Amy Ludwig Vanderwater, an author and teacher living in Western New York. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to day 64 of Keeping a Notebook. Of course, Betsy the Writing Camper is happy you are here too. She is the place where we meet. Today's Keeping a Notebook chat is titled, A Letter, A Letter. Hi, writing friends. It is day 64 of Keeping a Notebook. I'm very happy to see you. I wish I could reach out and give you a big hug right now. Here is a high five instead. Today's Keeping a Notebook chat is titled, A Letter, A Letter. And I got the idea from a book I've shared with you before, this book by Rob Walker called The Art of Noticing. I was just leaping through it and I came to this page that said, write a letter. And I thought I could write a letter in my notebook and it doesn't even have to be mailed to somebody. It could be a letter to someone who can't read it because they aren't living right now, because they're fictional characters, because it's an animal. I could be a letter to anyone. And so this is what I did. I wrote a letter, but before I wrote a letter, I made a, a kind of a webby list of different places that I could send a letter. And this is in no way comprehensive, which means I could write much more on this list, but I just wanted to jot a few things down. So in the middle, I wrote, who could I write to? And then I had different categories. I had living people that I know, animals, I know they can't read, but I could still write to them. The dead people I knew, dead people I never knew, living people I don't know, and strangers I've seen, which is a little bit like this, except I've seen them. So I have these categories, which made me think about some real letters I'd like to write too, but this was just a notebook letter today. And I decided to write to an animal it's an animal that we have been calling Cloud. I will read you the letter and you will understand why I'm writing to Cloud today in my notebook. Here it is. Dear Cloud, I am not sure what your real name is, or even if you have a name, but we've been calling you Cloud for the last several weeks that you've been hanging around our house. We do not know anything about you except that you are white and orange and fluffy, and lately you have been biting our cats. For a while we put food near the house to try to lure you in so we could get to know you, but that did not work so well. We wrote to our other neighbors to see if they know you and your story, but they don't. Our best guess is that someone saw, you, saw our big barn here and simply dropped you off. I'm sorry that happened to you, and I would never drop you off at a strange place. Over the past few weeks, I have visited and revisited the vet because you bit Firepaw and Fiona on the leg. They are friendly. We will feed you. We are friendly too, but this biting is not okay. We are putting a live trap in the yard. It is a safe live trap. And if we can catch you, we will bring you to the feral cat vet, have you fixed up and get your shots. We will release you and hope that during all of that, you will see that we are cat people. We want to help you and you are safe here. You do not have to be scared. I wish we knew your real name. XOXO, Amy. So there is a cat named Cloud who has been beating up and biting our cats. And we are hoping that we'll be able to make this cat friendly. But first, I think we have to catch it and feed it and get it to the vet. So writing this made me think about it. Even though Cloud will never be able to read this, will never even understand it if I read it out loud to Cloud one day. But it helped me do some thinking. And letters can do that. Letters can be sent or letters can just be written for our own selves. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people you love. Take care of your own small part of the community. I am thinking about you. Of course, Cloud the Cat will not be able to read my letter, even if I tuck it into the trap. But writing about Cloud and what's been happening still helped me think about it. In The Art of Noticing, Rob Walker writes, One thing I realize I love about the letter as a form is its conversation, always available. Today you might choose to write a letter to someone who will actually read it, or you might write a letter simply for your own thinking, 
Whatever you choose to do, know that the act of making marks on paper helps you become you. Take care.